Hi guys, in this video I will be explaining to you on the uh, principle of Archimedes. Now, uh, number one over here in terms of its uh, spelling over here guys, please ensure that over here you spell it correctly because SPM is very uh, particular about all this and make sure that you have your apostrophe over here after your S. Now, if you can just give me about 5 to 10 minutes, I will explain to you the entire Archimedes principle in a simplified manner. Okay, guys, now I've already taken the liberty to draw for you a little bit. Okay, sekarang over here you have your Eureka tin. Okay, some places they call it the Eureka can, some they call it the Eureka tin. Either one. Now, your Eureka tin over here and below it you have a measuring cylinder. Now, the moment you put an object inside your Eureka tin, all right, guys. Now, it can in this case it looks like a cube, so let's just uh, leave it as a cube. The moment you put a cube, okay, inside your Eure uh, Eureka tin over here. The water displaced now. I and Kalwa, we basically call it water displaced. The water displaced over here enters into the measuring cylinder. Okay? Now, water displaced that enters into the measuring cylinder, guys. What conclusion? You have already studied this in standard six, so it's damn easy. The volume of object, the volume of object here equals to the volume of liquid displaced. Jadi jumlah air yang keluar dekat sini bersamaan dengan uh, isi padu object. So over here, volume of object equals to the volume of liquid displaced. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take this volume of liquid displaced okay we are going to take this volume of liquid displaced and we are going to timbang okay kita akan timbang dia now when i say timbang over here we are going to measure its weight okay now, the moment you take the volume of liquid displaced, guys, and you measure its weight. Now, how you measure its weight over here, it's very simple, guys. Uh, before you pour in your, uh, what you call this, uh, before the liquid displaced comes in, measure the uh, mass of your uh, measuring cylinder without uh, whatever water inside. And then the moment the water goes in, you just minus. That is very, very simple. But the concept is, volume of liquid displaced, you timbang berat there. Okay, you timbang berat dia, measure its weight. Now, the moment you get the weight, okay guys, now, this weight, okay, equals to the buoyant force. Aha, so technically guys, the liquid displays, okay, you timbang berat dia, and that brat over here equals to the buoyant force. Now, before I go in further, your biggest question will be, Sir, what nonsense is this? Or what is buoyant force? Okay, guys. Objects in water, such as this. Now, this fellow is in water, isn't it? Objects in water, uh, uh, object yang berada dekat dalam air, yeah? two forces will be acting on it. Dua daya yang bertindak ke atasnya. The force that is pulling it down, Okay, daya yang menariknya ke bawah. We call this weight. Okay, guys. Now, the force that is basically pushing the object on top. Okay, we are going to call this force over here buoyant force. I'm going to write it on top a little bit. Huh? So, buoyant force. Okay. So, buoyant force is the force over here that pushes the block over here on top. It's like when you jump into a swimming pool, you lompat ke dalam uh, swimming pool. Eh? When the moment you jump inside, uh, your weight pulls you down. But what happens over here, the buoyant force pushes your body up. So, daya yang menolak badan anda ke atas, kita panggil dekat sini sebagai buoyant force. Okay? Now, what conclusion we can make with Archimedes principle? Okay? Now, as I say to you guys, the concept is very straightforward. Now, the conclusion. Okay, kesimpulan yang boleh dibuat. The conclusion over here is volume. But before that, let me just give you an easier version of it, guys. Eh? Simpler conclusion. Okay, the buoyant force equals to over here the weight 
of liquid displaced. So this is the conclusion that we can come up with. Okay guys, buoyant force equals to the weight of liquid displaced. So technically if you want your buoyant force to be higher, you need to make sure that lebih banyak weight of liquid displaced. That's why uh, submarines and ships over here, they are built to displace a lot of liquid so that the buoyant force is high, so it can float. For an example, ships over here, when you want them to float, it must be able to displace a lot of liquid over here. So this is your conclusion to explain on Archimedes' principle. Okay, guys? Now, for my next video, I'm going to give you an example on how to calculate buoyant force. Okay?